Hi, my name is Danielle Nadeev, and I am the Senior Director of Jewish Journeys, Places, and Welcoming. A highlight of my year was our immersive family camp experience, in which we brought together community partners to create a unique opportunity for multicultural Passover celebration. Not only do we allocate funding to our partners, but we also convene and facilitate programmatic opportunities so that the community can celebrate in innovative ways. My role consists of leadership development for both our lay leaders and our Atlanta Jewish ecosystem professionals. We have recently launched a local branch of, or local chapter, I should say, of JPRO, which is a Jewish professional networking organization. And the goal is to create a sense of community amongst all of the professionals working in our 140 something nonprofits in Atlanta. Most exciting is the grant that we recently received to send 30 professionals from Atlanta in a delegation to the National JPRO Conference. We're very excited to represent Atlanta and get to collaborate and work with over 1,000 other professionals from Jewish organizations throughout the country and Canada. So that's very exciting. Stay tuned for Fed 5 in mid-May to learn more about it. And um, can't wait to tell you more fun and exciting stuff that we have going on in leadership development in the future. Hi, I'm Rabbi Alana Perry, Director of the Jewish Education Collaborative. One programmatic highlight that I'm excited to share with you is the success of our Atlanta Hebrew Connection program. This pilot program was launched in the fall as a collaboration between three local synagogues, Jewish Federation, and our national partner, Shalom Learning, who is an expert in online Hebrew education. In this program, students learn to read and decode Hebrew, they learn Shabbat and daily prayers and the meaning behind those prayers, and they have a chance to connect with students from around our community. Grouped in small classes and using fun and engaging instruction methods, students love this learning and parents love knowing that their kids are having a great time learning and actually learning a lot. In addition to loving the fact that they don't have to battle Atlanta traffic and there are many more options for student class times, which fit into many busy family schedules. Educators love the collaboration and the top-notch nature of the program, especially knowing that we can engage the best Hebrew teachers from around the country in an online program like this. In this first year, we had three congregational partners and over 90 students enrolled. Next year, we're excited that the number of organizational partners will double, and we will also open enrollment to unaffiliated or underserved students who are interested in learning Hebrew. We're excited to watch this program continue to grow. Hello, I'm Carla Birnbaum, and I'm the Relational Engagement Manager here at Federation. The core of my work is overseeing the Making Jewish Places initiative. Making Jewish Places fits within CPI and is focused on increasing Jewish engagement in Atlanta communities by supporting radically welcoming collaborative neighborhood-based programming. We accomplish this by empowering local communities to create projects and programs to make their Jewish community richer and more vibrant. This relational approach is collaborative and supported by a committee of community leaders who live in the areas we serve. Making Jewish Places is currently focusing resources on the northern suburbs of Atlanta, primarily in Alpharetta, Johns Creek, Roswell, and East Cobb. We are particularly proud of the national recognition our work is receiving. In 2021, Making Jewish Places impacted over 8,000 Jewish individuals. Hi. I'm Rabbi Melissa Skolton Gutierrez, Director of Family Education Engagement. And one thing I'm super excited about from this past year is the launch of JBaby ATL, which is a new initiative as part of PJ Library to support expected parents and families of children ages zero to one. And um, we've had 140 families connect with us so far, families who are looking to um, connect with other expectant families and parents of newborns. Um, to engage in educational series and virtual workshops, um, to learn what it's like to navigate parenthood, um, both in a pandemic and in Jewish Atlanta. Um, and I'm so excited to see where it goes in the years ahead. Hi, I'm Leah Stinson, your Family Education and Engagement Associate. 
I'm really excited that we have awarded almost $950,000 for kids to get to overnight camp this summer from three of our different scholarship opportunities. One Happy Camper Incentive Grants, our scholarship program, and our access grants for our Russian-speaking Jewish families. Thank you. Hi, my name is Pam Cohen and I am a PJ Library Connector. I have been with the team for over three years and I enjoy planning programs in the Atlanta area. One of the things we did most recently was a donut tour for Hanukkah. Every night of Hanukkah, we were in a different donut shop. Families could pre-order their donuts for purchase and we gave out goodie bags and of course handed out our favorite PJ Library stories. We had locations both inside and outside of the perimeter and we were able to connect with over 150 families. It was wonderful to see families connecting with each other again and also to see our people that we haven't seen in such a long time. This was our first big event since the pandemic and we are looking forward to continuing to do this exciting programming in Atlanta. Hi, my name is Nathan Brodsky, Director of JumpSpark, the Teen Initiative at Federation. Our goal is to more deeply engage the Jewish teen ecosystem in Atlanta. A program that we ran recently was for professionals that work with teens. We brought in Alicia Pedowitz of Moving Traditions to talk about the culture of consent. This is a very difficult but important conversation to be having. Through this, we shared resources, exchanged stories, and were able to talk about the importance of language. This explores one of our strategies to more deeply engage teens. Through the professionals, we will be able to network and share resources to ultimately more deeply engage teens. Hi, my name is Susie Mackler. I'm the program manager at JumpSpark, which is the teen initiative here at the Federation. And one of the things I'm most excited about this year is we have been in the process of collecting applications for the Atlanta Israel Gap Year Scholarship and we offer ten to $15,000 funding for kids, high school seniors from Atlanta to take a gap year in Israel. We currently have 25 students that were granted the scholarship last year that are in Israel, and we're in the process of this year's cohort, and we'll have uh, more details coming soon, and that has been a really exciting project. Hi, my name is Amanda Budd, and I work for JumpSpark, and one of our programs that we're most proud of this year is our Strong Women Fellowship. We work with over 40 female-identifying teens and work throughout the year uh, discussing different topics on what it means to be a strong woman with great speakers, and we're really excited for next year. Hi, my name is Jesse Schwartzman, and I'm also on the JumpSpark team. One of our other programs that we're really proud of this year is our Amplify Israel Teen Fellowship. Um, we have 10 teens from both Atlanta and our partnership city in Yopiam, where we allow our teens to tell their stories of what it's like to be a teen in their respective cities, and we allow them to uh, communicate, come together, and just share this great experience, and hopefully promotes more Israel travel for the summer. So we share our content every Wednesday, and we hope you all can see some of the amazing work our teens have done. Hi, this is Amy Fox. I'm the Navigating Parenthood Coordinator for JumpSpark. And one program I'm working on is called Project Launch. This is the second iteration of Project Launch. We started last year. It is a program for older um, teens, parents, to help them with the transition from um, high school to college, gap year or beyond. And we do this with a virtual program, which is May 9th at 7.30 p.m bringing parents together to connect around the shared experience and bringing them resources, speakers, experts, veteran parents who can help set their expectations, help um, talk about what they're going through and help them with the transition to make sure that they and their children are set up for success. And this is just the beginning of a, um, a process where we'll bring them back together in the fall and throughout next year to reconnect with each other and for them to know that their Jewish community is there for them and that we're all in this together. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Jen Handel and I am the Director of Israel Engagement. And I started my role in January and one of the things that's been really inspiring over the last couple months is working with our Shin Shanim and seeing the impact that they've had on the Atlanta Jewish community. They're working in our day schools and our synagogues and after school programs and they're really forming bonds, not only with the students and the participants, but with the staff, the community members, their host families. And so I'm excited to see what can happen with the new group coming in August 
and the impact that these Shinshinim are gonna bring back to Israel with them.